So today we're going to be installing a pet safe, pet screen door, and it is the small size, and we're doing this for our cat. And inside the box, we have instructions. We have the main door unit. It is screened. And then we have the backing plate. And the way this works is going to be very simple. I'll decide where on my patio screen door I want to put this. So let's say I want to place it right there. And then what we'll do then is we'll mark it and we'll cut the screen in this inner channel, the middle channel, according to the instructions. And then basically it snaps on both sides of the screen. And I am more likely than not going to also add an additional screw on each corner to hold it. As some of the folks online and some of the reviews have said that um, this can tend to pop off. And we don't want that happening. The nice thing about this door, and I really like the mechanism, is that it swings very freely. And then it has a fairly powerful magnet, which locks it in place once it closes, just like that. And it also has two little latches on the side to keep it closed. So, the next step is deciding where we want to put it, marking it, cutting it, and getting it installed. Here I have my completed project. I did uh, make a mistake on one of my holes for the screw. I made it a little too small. It did slightly crack the frame. I'm not worried about that. The other screws I think look pretty good. And they should keep this from actually popping apart. Because when I was drilling this hole here, the, the frame actually did separate. So actually having it such that it's screwed together should prevent that from happening down the road. And there we go. I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I put it back in the door frame. And here's the final product. We have Alice who's trying to decide how to go out a cat door. But we have the cat door. Come on girl. She'll figure it out, but uh, not a bad product for uh, less than 20 bucks. Well, she'll figure it out, folks. Thanks for joining us.